And welcome back to Game on Vegas. We talked about the Golden Knights, and of course we got Ron Futrell, Kevin E. Martin here to talk all about this. And, and the, the fans of the Fortress were absolutely wild. It was crazy. And, and you talked, Kevin, you talked about that uh, misfit line that's been around, and they really produced. Yeah, Chris, I think that's what impressed me the most about this game tonight was that misfit line. Carlson, Marcia so and Smith, as a group, they combined for seven points. Of course, Marcia so's three goals, three assists from Carlson, and Smith added another assist all night long. They were nonstop pressure, created off the rush, just an impressive performance all around by the original Misfits. You know, when you think about it, too, those original Misfits, um, now they're kind of coming together, coming together at the right time. And if there's a time to come together, it's right now. It's right now. They're really gelling at the right time, and it's a little scary to see. Tonight, they looked unstoppable as a unit. Well, it was neat to see, and of course, Marcia Soul with the hat trick, the place went absolutely crazy. In fact, they were, they're still picking up hats, <laughs> because there were so many hats that, uh, that were thrown under the ice. And Ron, you talk about the, the penalty, the power play, uh, Tuck gets taken down, that was a big play. I think this was a key point in the game, and it could be a key point in the series, okay? Andre Burakovsky took out Alex Tuck with a clothesline. That's the best way you can describe it. Like he just he just hooked him with a clothesline here and took him down viciously. Of course, penalty Burakovsky right there. He's six three. Tuck six four. So two big dudes going at it. Tuck gets in a fight. Tuck goes to the penalty box. Another guy from the Avalanche go to the penalty box. So this was brutal. This changed the game because Marcheseau got his second goal on this power play. This could change the series. A play like this could change a series when you're talking about momentum right there. And it was a key point in the game, a little bit of a fight. I remember talking to Alex Tuck about a Gordie Howe hat trick one time in the locker room, which is a Gordie Howe hat trick, is a, is a goal, is a fight, and an assist in the same game. And Eric Holla was next to him back in the first season. Eric Holla's uh, locker is right next to him. He sort of laughed and said, like, the rookie's never been in a fight yet, which he was referring to Tuck, never been in a fight. The next game, Tuck got a Gordie Howe hat trick. Uh, Alex Tuck is the perfect combination of scoring goals, size, speed, physicalness, yeah. and speed, and he doesn't mind mixing it up out there. Remember, he, they got him from Minnesota, and he's been mentioned in a few trades over the years, and the, and the Knights have always said Tuck is untouchable. For good reason. For good oh, reason, yeah. I think. So they should, young. Tuck could be a Las Vegas Golden Knight, Vegas Golden Knight for a long time. You yeah. know, I think about this game too, guys, and it's just, it, I mean, throughout the entire season, the Vegas Golden Knights had the best defense in the National Hockey League going up against this offense. Well, they have really stifled the avalanche, haven't they? Yeah, it's incredible to watch the, the blue liners go at it. I mean, you go across the board, Shea Theodore, Alex Petrangelo, McNabb back in hey, the lineup McNabb. tonight. Didn't miss, didn't look like he didn't miss step. Nick Holden, <laughs> you know, he sits out for so many games and and he's really picked up. I mean, yeah, across the board, those blue liners really are showing out. You know, and I thought what was interesting was that the uh, that last goal there, when you talk about uh, Brown, comes in and the crowd was going crazy because Grubauer had kind of slid into the net and the puck was right there. And they first say, well, it's no goal. Then they come right. back and say it is a goal. Wait, no, it's no goal. So <laughs> the fans were cheering. No, are we? What are we going to do? And, and, and we, we can roll some of that video because it shows right there where where Brown actually goes in and he, he, pucks, he shoots the puck at Grubauer. Grubauer slid back into the net. And right now we're thinking, was it a goal? Was it not? Goal that people are thinking it was, the players thought it was, but then they're saying, oh, wait a sec, maybe the referee saw something that we didn't see. Remember how they said no goal, but then you look at that and the fans went crazy because as Peter DeBoer looks at this thing, we look at it, clearly a goal. Clearly a goal. Well, if Grubauer had been shoved into the net, that would not, by a Knights player, that would not have been a goal, but he clearly was not. He went back on his own momentum, took him back, and also brought the puck back into, which made it a goal for the for the for the uh, Henderson Silver Knight player, yeah. Patrick Brown. Henderson yeah. Silver Knight captain. captain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, what's really neat here too is is they're getting production from a lot of different yeah. guys in this series, which you need when you're playing the Avalanche. They're so potent. Exactly. The depth. I mean, all four lines, a lot of defensemen are, are contributing offensively. They're seeing it all over. we got to talk about this before we say goodnight okay. on this segment here. We've got to talk about the fans, the medieval maniacs. They have shown up, and it's been so exciting to see just how loud they have been the last two games. No, it was fun to see the fans out there. Also, the Vegas Golden Knights acknowledged that after the game, they they did a stick salute out on the ice for about a minute long that you would do after a game seven in a series or after the end of a season. This is only game four in this series, and the Knights stayed out on the ice to acknowledge those fans for about a minute 
put their sticks up in, in the air and gave a great salute to the fans after the game, which I thought was very, very, yeah. very, um, it was respectful of them, nice of them. All, it, it showed the mutual respect between they, the fans and the players. They appreciate that. I, it almost goes back to that uh, Stanley Cup first year, game one in Vegas. When, what, our Golden Knights are in the uh, Stanley Cup? I don't know, it was so loud. <laughs> yeah. It was that loud, wasn't it? Oh, it was so loud. It was deafening at points. And uh, they announced 18,081 were in attendance. Coincidence? I think not. 81, <laughs> Marcia So, oh, three oh, goals. Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. That's crazy. Oh, you can't draw it up. All right. <laughs> no. Hey, well, thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Hey, once again, up next to the Golden Knights. Game 5, Tuesday in Denver. And we'll be with the Knights.